You guys won't believe this, but we got a new Fairy Old Parents show, and it's actually good. It's called Fairy Old Parents, a new way. Right from the get go, we got a new intro, which is so good, it has the classic vibe, but the classic one is better. I really like the new art style, it fits the show actually. There's some throwback to the old art style and the old show, and they kind of play on nostalgia, but I love that, they acknowledge history. The new character is more in your face, but she isn't as annoying as Chloe. God knows there is nothing more annoying than Chloe. Her parents aren't actually as dumb as Timmy's parents. They're more normal. And that's actually about the show. The absurdity in this show is not like the old show. You know, the old absurdities that made you laugh. It is the same, but still feel like fairly old parents. It has a lore, which I actually really like. So, it might be a good show. The second episode of the new fairy old parents show is actually cool. So, as we know from the first episode that Cosmo and Wada are retired actually. But they got back from retirement. But Jorgen didn't like that because he wanted Ice Spice to be the new fairy god. Parent. And Hazel is that kid who can't make up her mind. So we see some new stuff, some new adventures, and in the end, it's all good. So it's a very normal episode, really, but I liked it. The show is still starting off. If it is gonna be good, it has to offer so much, and I'm waiting. The third episode of the new Fairy Old Parents show was eh. Hazel as a character has different problems than Timmy. She has more of social problems. One thing I noticed about this show is that Cosmo isn't as dumb as he used to be. He's more like the season one smart Cosmo. This episode was more about introducing us to the characters and the people who are around Hazel. It was entertaining but it wasn't something special. I felt like watching the new season of Spongebob. That feel exactly. I don't have a problem with it but I want a better episode in the next episode. The fourth episode of the new Fairy Odd Parents show was very stupid. I felt like I'm watching kids only show. Like it was so childish man. The only fun part was the mention of Zendaya. They had some humor here. And also the art style peaked here. But other than that this is such a stupid episode. The fifth episode of the new Fairy Odd Parents show was actually fun. Finally a fun episode. For the first time Cosmo and Wanda messed up the wish, which is something so new to me. I loved Cosmo's sarcastic comments. He had no shield. Please cementing our friendship for all eternity. Nice! Nail it down so she figures out too many of your flaws. And I like Hazel Frame. This show is not stable in quality, but it's okay. Episode 6 of the new Fairy Old Parents show is fun. It's about Hazel getting her friends in a sleepover. But what I noticed about this show is that Hazel, unlike Timmy, is trying to make friends with everybody in school. That says that Hazel is a more giving character than Timmy, who was selfish at times. I like the change and the difference. We are not getting Fairy Old Parents 2, but a new adventure for Fairy Old Parents. This episode of the new Fairy Old Parents show is very cool. Hazel wishes for a 1500 minutes of fame to be in something in school called the superlatives. And because it involves time, it brought back father time. And I like the mention of Timmy's secret wish episode. They also had some nostalgic things about Timmy. The principal is the equivalent of Kruger, but she isn't as crazy with fairies. This episode had the best soundtrack, and Hazel's singing is actually really beautiful. I also like this new character called the Neck of Time. This was a fun packed episode, I really liked it. Episode 8 of the new Fairy Old Parents show is actually great. It reminds me of the old Halloween episodes of Fairy Old Parents. It shows how I think it's so great, but having too many of it will destroy you. I liked its setting, and I liked the silly jokes. <gasps> but I saved this. Do you mind? Episode 9 of the new Fairy Old Parents show is very funny. They used all their funny cards in this episode. Hazel wishes for her hair to have a spirit. And Cosmo and Wanda grant her her wish, but giving her a hair with actual living spirit. And this hair has a better personality than most of the characters in this show. <laughs> OMG! Flowers! <laughs> Go in the trash! Oh, 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 oh. That's right! Shake that hair booty! I love Cosmo's comments. Nothing wrong with my magic. My magic is delicious. I'm a horse. They made some hair jokes, which is actually smart, and the funny occurring thing about the squirrel. A tiny little thing that I didn't like is the ASMR kid. He's in every episode and he doesn't add much. I noticed that Hazel without hair looks like AJ. It's a really fun episode, I really liked it. Episode 10 of the new Fairy Odd Parents show is electrifying. You know, because it's about electricity and science and... Hazel is led for her science school project, so she wishes for her project to work. And Cosmo and Wanda again messed up her wish, so the laws of science are messed up now and now we get that phase walks with science and not against it and even though i feel like a kid when i laugh at these jokes but these jokes are funny for me but my dad's a brilliant scholar of parascience science is in my genes negative there's no science in these genes 
The principal is James Brown confirmed. <laughs> Episode 11 was a new fairy odd parents show. It's really cool. Hazel wishes to be a detective to get the feel of solving mysteries. And I love how they brought back the black and white style for this episode because it really reminds me of Timmy's dad being a detective episode. And the black and white really works with his style. Also, I see that the art style is peak when it's night because the lighting has a better contrast. I love how this episode keeps you anticipating. They did right with this episode. Episode 12 of the new fairy odd parents show was really unique. Hazel can fight a death for her school dance, so she wishes for her favorite manga character to be real, which is the equivalent of Timmy wishing for Gegashin. But the difference is that Hazel wants a death and not a superhero. I like how they reference several mangas and animes like Dragon Ball, and they played with the art style so much, it's my favorite here. And it's the first episode that Dev actually has a change of heart. And in the end, Hazel rejected that true love. It was amazing and so entertaining. Episode 13 of the new Fairy Odd Pants show is nice. It's not that big of an episode, but it discusses a real problem, which is pollution. And I love that approach. We see Dev's dad for the first time, and we see how much of a jerk he is. And a new fictional character has been added to the Fairy Odd Parents. It's a fun episode, but not too much in it. Episode 14 of the new Fairy Odd Parents show is cool. It's an episode about Dev. And what did he do this time? He raised pizza from all the world. I understand this concern. This is the most evil thing that you can ever do. I like how cool the entrance of the Peapot people. Every time I see Dev caring for his dad, it breaks my heart. It truly really deserves a better dad. Also, I love how they create jokes from the situation they are in. And in this case, it's a peace jokes. He doesn't want to. That'll be easy peasy. Episode 15 of the new Fairy Odd Pants show is so beautiful. It's another Dev episode. But in this episode, Dev finally breaks his character. And he makes a friendship with Hazel. And I noticed that Hazel is what Dev needs. Someone who truly cares about him. I love this friendship and I love how Dev can be himself. This might be the best friendship in this show. Also, I love how the wishes are getting deep. Like emotional growth wish. That's something new. Episode 16 of the new Fairy Odd Pants show is very good. And I have a lot of questions. Cosmo was in jail before? I'm not going back! Why Cosmo and Wada look like BBK accurate angels? Why did this episode go so hard? It had a lot of fun stuff in it. From good soundtrack to funny jokes like age jokes. Cookie, age, mind your business. Bendits. Cosmo and Wanda. Age, how high can numbers go? We get to see Cookie again, which is nice that she isn't that one episode character. The jail looks awesome. Episode 70 of the new Fairy Odd Parents show is amazing. The peak of death misery. Here he was such a good kid, but nobody understood him. And everyone left him. I like Dale as a villain. He is really, really a bad person. He is really good at making me hate him. But let's not lie to each other. Most of us talk about this episode because of Poof. We got hints about him until the end of the episode where we saw him. It's episode that made the Fairy Odd Pants fans go crazy for this show. Episode 18 of the new Fairy Odd Pants show is nice. Hazel can spend time with her mom because her mom works a lot, so she wishes to become a businesswoman and replace her mom's assistant. And here we see adult Hazel, which looks so cool, but she is still the same child Hazel. The one unsettling thing in this episode is the puppet Hazel. It has Doodle Pop vibes. This episode was pushing for hardworking women, and it's nice. It's good to know about Hazel's parents, but it's not that big of an episode. Episode 19 of the new fairy out parents show is really cool. We got two character returns, AJ and the most important, Cracker. I don't know why nobody talks about him returning. He is still crazy and he is still dangerous. He is the same old Cracker. The episode was so intense and so fun. Also, they recalled me in this episode. Give my boy Cracker some love. Episode 20 of the new fairy out parents show is amazing. Dev is overusing Poof, who I noticed that he has a wand similar to his baby wand. Cosmo broke the fourth wall, which is nice to see from time to time. I wasn't expecting it. This episode had ghosts and portal, which reminded me of Danny Phantom. Hmm, I wonder why. The best part about this episode is Perry meeting his parents again, and they were able to make the best out of it, which really made this episode so special. Episode 21 of the new Fairy Old Pants show is really terrifying. Okay, it's not really terrifying, but it's the most scary one. Here's the wishes for a fictional character to be alive, just to make her friends happy, and things take a dark turn. I know that Cosmo and Wanda are both dumb now. It's a fun dark episode. Episode 22 of the new Fairy Odd Pants show is really beautiful. It's about the love story of Hazel's parents. But Hazel's missed things up, so her parents almost never got together. And we saw Cupid returning, which I never understood why everyone is talking about him. My favorite part was Hazel singing. She really has a very beautiful voice. Lovely love song. Give me some of that lovely, 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 lovely. Um. 
The soundtrack is amazing as this show. Episode 23 of the new Fire Out Pass show is really cool. Barry's pass are all over his head. And he's trying to be that solo fairy god parent, showing that he is up to the responsibility. Meanwhile, Dev and Hazel went off limits. They stole Perry's one and had too much fun until things got out of hand. We saw another fourth wall break. I have like a whole season's worth of wishes to eat. Everyone is afraid of Jorgen. Also, the art style was really bright and really colorful. Perry Ward is the best with his art style. My favorite part of the episode was as everyone only up to their actions except Dev. Huh, I'm glad you all learned something. Episode 24 of the new Fairy Old Pass show is top tier. The episode is about music, and there's an old rivalry in music, and this makes cracks in Hazel's friendships. So she makes a music wish, and to grant music wish, we get the music fairy, which is something new that never happened to Timmy. Oh, by the way, I saw a hint of him here. The music fairy is really cool, and her world is cooler. Instruments are growing on trees. This episode had a very good soundtrack and a very good story, and I like how they make every end of the episode special. And this in this case, Hazel's brother shows for the first time. Episode 25 of the new Fairy Out Pass show is nice, and Hazel's just of her brother's friend because he's spending so much time with her. She just wants to spend time with her and play games. So she made a wish, and I think she needs a confirmation for wishes, because every time she say I wish without even wishing, they grant her the wish immediately. They are sucked into the game and we have some fun action, and we get to know what happened with Hazel's brother. It was such a nice episode. Episode 26 of the new Fairy Out Pass show is really fun. This episode focused on the fun part the most, so we got a lot of jokes here and there. The art style looked amazing, and they were able to create a story of such a small thing. The funniest part was the shots taken in it. Harry, why don't you have a fancy bejeweled wand? Why didn't you have a better presentation? Ooh, we got you there, Dad! Me, personally, I wouldn't let that slide! Episode 27 of the new Fairy Out Pass show is really cool. Here's a lost potato, especially french fries, me too. And she doesn't like any other vegetable. And that is Sparky there to hear. Sparky, Sparky, Sparky! <laughs> Who's a hungry boy? I am! So she made a wish about eating french fries every day, and even made a song about it. Then the next day she woke up and saw herself being a potato. Turns out you are what you eat is an actual thing. And the only way to go back to normal is by mother nature. Who they change her to a pregnant black woman. Which I really don't mind. It's not good for consistency but it's a cartoon. Who cares? Here's a lost potato and can't control herself. So we get the scariest scene ever. And here's almost sacrificed herself. Then everything went back to normal. It was an episode full of stuff. Vicky is back in the new fair old parents show. The episode is called Operation Birthday take back. When I saw Vicky, I almost lost my mind. She hasn't aged at all. I know what didn't change? She is still evil. Princess, Princess Vicky, can I please stop sewing? Aww, are you little fingers hurting? Mm -hmm. Too bad! They brought her back in all her aura. She is still the same Vicky, same way, same job. Just some aging under her eyes. Man, even Poof is traumatized of her. Besides that, this episode is great. It's so entertaining. They really did fairly odd parts, it's justice. Episode 29 of the new Fairy Out Pants show is creepy. This episode focused on the paranormal activities and it had a ghost and exorcism. But I like the documentary styles that they used in this episode. It produced such a spooky episode. And this is my favorite part of the episode. And worst of all, nobody saw the movie. I said, nobody saw the movie. Oh. Poop is back in the new Fairy Old Parents show. The episode is called Best of Luck. He got the same introduction as Perry. I'm Foo. Well, at least I was. I changed my name to Irem, as in the opposite of Perry. Check the threads. And he stayed the same evil anti fairy. He found a loophole which made him stronger than the fairies. He basically outsmarted everyone. But Perry has always outsmarted Foo. I'm so excited to see these characters back. When Timmy is gonna be back, the world is gonna explode. But I hope they don't bring back Sparky or Chloe. Also, the tension is rising. Episode 31 of the new Fairy Out Pants show is truly fun. Dev tells Hazel that Jenkins has a crush on her. And that's the first story for this character. Hazel and her nature is awkward. And because of that, she wishes to undo the awkward things that she did and going back in time requires father time so we see him back and also this is the scariest Hazel has ever been switching a letter isn't a big deal it's not a big deal again wanda say it 
She goes so much in time, messes up every time, to the point where Dave confesses his love to Hazel. Love you, Hazel Antoinette Wells. <laughs> and that of course raptures the space-time continuum. But then everything gets fixed, and Hazel learns how to be comfortable with being awkward, as she discovers that everyone gets embarrassed. But right in the end when she fixes the situation with Jenkins, turns out he doesn't have a crush on her, and it's all a lie by them, which embarrasses Hazel again. Episode 32 of the new Fairy Odd Parents show is amazing. Hazel can't see a movie because she is not old enough, so she wishes to become 13. It's all good and fun. We see a head of Dinkelberg. We saw cute Cosmo and Wanda, who messed up the wish again by giving her the fairy puberty, which makes her grow like a pasta. And we finally see Hazel not having it with Cosmo and Wanda messing up every time. She really had enough. Sorry. Hazel's parents are the best. They were able to comfort her during her hard time. And in the end, everything went back to normal and ended up with a gross scene. Did that come from my armpits? We didn't want to let it go to waste. Say when, Wanda! Episode 33 of the new Fairy Odd Parents show is amazing. So there is a fairy festival that Cosmo and Wanda are really excited about. But they can't take Hazel because she is not a fairy. Well, she found a solution. And accidentally, she signed a contract to be a fairy. So she really became a fairy. And when you become a fairy, you have your own anti-fairy. And I love the way the anti-fairy talk. It's so sassy and I like it. Had some fun moments in it. Fairy Hazel looks really cool. And I love how Hazel is making that risky wishes now. It really reminds me of Timmy. It was really a fun episode. Episode 34 of the new Fairy Odd Parents show is really good. It focuses on the psychological side of Hazel, which was really important for her. It focuses on all the thoughts and the negativity. And Hazel's mother got us all dancing. I'm feeling it now! <gasps> Keep working while I shake some of this good energy around. Your mom is right! Hazel can't confirm that her friends like her. So she wishes for them to be in her mind. And everything went well until her head warm appeared. And it's all the negative thoughts that she has. She had to face it but failed many times until she learned how to gain control over her feelings. This was such a beautiful episode. Episode 35 of the new Fairy Odd Parents show is really fun. The fire ignores the gap between Hazel's teeth. And it's a problem of the episode. So Hazel wishes to fix it. And Tooth wishes brings back Tooth Fairy which someone has a crush on it and I'm not talking about Jorgen. Hazel gets a magical tooth and it's a reckless tooth which annoys Hazel so much. We got a lot of teeth jokes and the internet joke is back. We even got Snoop Dogg rap. Well, it's this was such a fun episode. This is the best episode of the new Fairy Odd Parents show and it's season finale. Anti fairies rules the fairy world and it's all because of Dev, who gotta be the most dangerous god kid in history. But it was sad because all he did was for his dad and his dad is a jerk. I love Dev's song. So proud of my son. So, 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 so. Proud of my son. Hazel made her one million wish and that allowed her to make a one rule free wish which I guess is a rule made after Timmy. I like how they acknowledge context and use it to explain fairies. I love the art style and it speak here. I love Hazel as a god kid. This was such a dramatic, such a funny, such a great episode. This is how you make an amazing fairy old parents episode. I hope they make season 2. They're closing this thing out on a fart joke? Oh, they better give us a season 2!